is back. We've got the ghost with the most returning to the big screen. Oh. And it's not just Beetlejuice returning, it's the whole cast. Well, almost the whole cast, I should say. Um, certain members, for obvious reasons, have been excluded. But we've got many, many of the cast members coming up, including Beetlejuice himself, Michael Keaton. Yep. I'm yeah. very, very excited about this. And we finally have a poster and we've got a date. We've got a release date for this now. This is gonna be coming out September 6th of this year. Woo! This this movie feels like it snuck up on us. September, much much baby. like the poltergeist he is. Boo! He's right there. He's out to get you. We've got Winona Ryder back in the mix. Yep. We've got Jenna Ortega here, too. Yep. Um, we've got William Defoe in a role that hasn't been said, oh. but I'm assuming he's going to be taking the mantle of Charles Dietz. Uh, he, I'm not no, sure. it actually. Uh, oh, do you know? Yeah, he's playing a deceased uh, B movie action star, <gasps> and he is a detective in this what? movie. So he's 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 a detective now, uh -huh. but he is a deceased B movie action star. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I've been sleeping on this news. This is amazing. And and, and Catherine O'Hara, you were mentioning that yesterday. Yeah. She'll be back. Oh, I love Catherine O'Hara. Obviously, so much. yeah. She's She'll certain, be back as Delia. Certain actors can't can't return, but no, no. Yeah, they, you know, they, they're busy. For <laughs> doing something. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Jeffrey Jones was the original Charles Dietz. He will not be included in this film. Right. Um, charges were pressed against him back in the day. Um, Maybe. but. We've got we've got some really great people in here. Like I was saying the other day too, I'm so excited about Winona. I'm so excited for Jenna Ortega to be joining the cast too because she just fits this Burtony world so well. She does a great job as Wednesday, obviously Golden Globe nomination for that. I think she'll blend seamlessly into here. Man, I'm this, pumped. The first Beetlejuice kind of tricked me when I was a kid. Uh, How so? From the beginning, it was like a cool thing to me because they had that miniature set, the toy set. You know, as a kid, I, I really like toys. I still do. <laughs> but uh, um, I was like, oh, this looks cool. This, And then it turned crazy when Beetlejuice showed up. <laughs> I was like, what is this movie? And then when they pulled their faces apart. Oh, yeah. I had nightmares for about maybe a couple months. Who knows? Mm. I always saw that face in the corner of my room. It, it, it happens. It happens. Um, I think you might have seen it in uh, Toys R Us, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this movie, uh, I, I love Michael Keaton, uh, the founder, Birdman. Um, it's good to see him always getting work. Uh, and Winona Ryder, too. Yeah. She, she, I, she was definitely needed in this film. Do you guys know, because I know there was this play, okay? Yeah, the musical of it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we know, is this tied to any of that storyline, or is it just a completely different script? I think this is a totally different thing, All right. well, that, but I'm that, not sure. That... Uh, musical has gotten pretty rave reviews. Oh, so absolutely. Well, I really hope the same quality returns to the sequel. They, it was a weird thing with Beetlejuice, too, where it didn't get the best reception, the Broadway musical, I should say. And then it kind of blew up on TikTok and had this huge resurgence where people just loved the music, loved the character, um, loved the reimagining of it on uh -huh. stage. And I do think that helped propel this. Okay. And obviously, Michael Keaton, too. Popping back as Batman again, popping back up in in you know our late night shows and everything. I think that also helped fuel this. Winona Ryder, obviously, on her stint from Stranger Things. I think there's a, a big hunger for these folks to come back and do this IP again. Yeah. And then you throw Jenna into the mix, and it's a really great recipe. What was the last thing Tim Burton has released? Uh, Wednesday. We, oh, that Wednesday, but on the big screen. On the big screen. Was oh it uh, uh one of the animated uh. What, what, if anyone in the chat knows, I'll look it yeah, up what too. Yeah, his most um, recent film was. How, well, basically, I was trying to. Was it Dumbo? I, I was trying to ask. Might have been. It might have been. How do you guys feel about him as a? Are you a Tim Burton person? Or? I am, and I'm. Uh... Is it like one of I those mean, names where you're like, Tim Burton's the right? I'm going. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. On average, it takes about 30 days for a person to break their New Year's resolution. So if saving money was on your 2024 list, your odds aren't looking that great. Luckily, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money this year. Just switch to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for 15 bucks a month. I've told you guys many times that after switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my cell bill 
than I used to with a major carrier. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All Mint plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And don't worry about having to change phones or numbers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. I think he's an amazing director. I think his his overall amount, like his overall portfolio of work is incredible. Yes. I remember years ago at, um, it wasn't Mocha. I think it was the LA County Museum of Art. Oh, LACMA. his exhibit? Yeah. His exhibit. I went to and Roma, I New York. And I saw the poster from it. Mm -hmm. That exhibit was incredible. I also, it's so good. Yeah, I also did, um, oh my gosh, why am I drawing a blank? 2001 A Space Odyssey. Uh, the Shining. Why can't I think of that director? One of the Kubrick. Great... Kubrick. I also went to the Kubrick ex Ooh, uh, one there too. Fun. But but that Tim Burton one was amazing. It's so good. And I love his his work. I love yeah. his sensibilities. But there are certain movies like Alice in Wonderland or whatever that just you know. Yeah, Dumbo didn't they were really misses, do it for me. You know. Um. I mean, I have to like Tim Burton. Look at my face. I look like I was made out of clay by him. Like. <laughs> That's that's probably my creator. I don't know. Right? Um, I love his aesthetic. I love how he does things. Big Fish, I think, is one of the most beautiful films ever. Oh made. man, that Ugh. that movie gets me every time. Oh, absolutely. At the end. Yeah. I I remember when that movie came out. My friend's father had just passed, oh, so he was like a sobbing mess next to me. I'm like, oh, maybe this wasn't the best movie to take him to at this moment. Mm -hmm. But I love Big Fish. It's a beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Film. I've never heard of it. So. Oh yeah, that's great. It's it is. But it's gonna make watch. you. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gonna be intense, Ray. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Is it really about a fish? No. Well, okay. there's what? no, it's like it's an analogy, like tall tales but, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'll look into it if I yeah. but it's a story about it's the main story is like a relationship of a son and his father. Okay. Yeah. So you'll appreciate it, but it's definitely gonna probably make you Oh yeah, up. probably. Yeah. yeah. It's it's one to definitely have the Kleenex around, get the sniffies. Oh no, I just use my socks. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I just different take off my movie. socks. And... Different movie, Ray. <laughs> it's like, you know. They're all going through the laundry, so it doesn't matter. Uh, oh man, where's that popcorn bin? I, can't, <laughs> I thought I saw Ray with that last. <laughs> Ran out of here with it. Why are there socks in this what? popcorn bucket? In there. I told him this was a sad movie. <laughs> man, right. why well, are they so stiff? A, anyone in the chat, when you know, if you see that those Dune popcorn buckets go on sale, please let us know. Yeah. Or let let uh, Chris know, because I, I think she wants it. The oh most. yeah, of all the people here, of I'm the, the one most. who's going to use the popcorn bucket the yeah, most. Yeah, the most. She loves Doom. She wants to watch it three times in a row, right? Oh, <laughs> back sorry. To We're back done with this to back. <laughs> I think we had the. I'm going to watch it over and over again. This is where we went off the rails. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. was the moment. That's what we do. It's fine. Yeah, it's going to be more, hard to cut this one. Key here. Exactly. Guys, how you feel about this poster? Did this <laughs> raise your level of excitement? Were you like me and you were like, oh, I barely knew anything about this movie going into it? So excited about William Defoe's row. I'm so excited about these other people returning. Or are you kind of, eh? Do we really need to do a sequel to Beetlejuice? Because you could also totally feel that way too. Let us know how you feel about it in the comments, all right? Did we mention the new title to it too? Did we talk? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is a new title to the- Which makes sense title. because- yeah. Okay, there we go. Beetlejuice twice. Just, just point it. Also, out. fun fact, I didn't realize this. <laughs> yeah. I learned it on um, uh, on um, a podcast I was listening to. They had Willem, Willem Dafoe on. So his name is Willem, Willem, right? Mm -hmm. And Willem. a lot of times people say William. But actually I learned that William is his name Willem was a nickname as a kid, and he said William just didn't sound right when he put it on like his, um, like any time he put his name in for a film or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he just he kept he kept his stage name as Willem. I do like Willem better oh. for him. So you're not That's wrong. Great. No one's wrong in saying William Defoe. So, no, so I'm next time somebody does that, Willem. Is, Willem. Is, yeah. You can tell him to shut up. Yeah. yeah. Say I'm calling him me. by his birth name. It was really funny because then he's like, because, you know, like Bob didn't sound right or, or you know, it's like, I'll just go with Will. Bob Defoe. That's a very different life for him. He'd be selling real estate. Well, yeah. when when you're like the A-list actor and you're like hanging out with him, he, they're probably like, hey, Bobby. That's fair. It, yeah. We're what never going to cross that. that, that barrier. My brother was in a, <laughs> my brother got to hang out with Anthony Hopkins a couple times times um, when he was living here. And he would always refer to him as Tony. Because that's what he told him to call him. Mm -hmm. And so he'd be like, yeah, me and Tony were hanging out. And I would always just be aghast of, 
That's Sir Anthony Hopkins. You don't do that. Well, let's be called Tony. Oh, yeah. So how about we be friends with the, the VIPs? Yep. All right, guys, let us know how you feel about Beetlejuice, though. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.